within a few months, I gained 15 pounds. And that was by doing less exercises, less sets and less frequently. Makes It goes completely against the grain of what most people do. What's up, guys? I'm here with Jay Vincent, who I regard as the guy that knows his shit the most in the fitness industry. For all you guys uh, that really respect my dating system and see me as light years beyond the rest of the industry, Jay is basically my equivalent in the fitness space, where he's used a science-based approach based on data, and he's also a published fitness model. So I'll let him tell his backstory, but we're excited to share that he's going to be releasing an eight-week course, eight-week mentorship, uh, similar to the one that I've been running. Since mine has been so successful, uh, the model with guys going through the entire content system while also coming on to calls to get all their questions answered and all their issues worked through, that's been extremely effective. Uh, So he's going to be rolling out an eight-week program. We'll have the link in the description, but we're going to go over in this video uh, giving Jay's background, talk about the typical problems people face in fitness, and kind of what he has come up with as the optimal solution and the most effective, efficient, uh, and optimized solution. Without further ado, do you want to introduce yourself, Jay? Yeah, what's up, guys? Jay Vincent here. So like John said, I have an interesting story. Um, I spent the last 10 years as a fitness entrepreneur, gym owner, uh, professional published fitness model, as you can see the advertisements I have behind me, Under Armour, Muscle Tech. I've been in just about every fitness magazine on the planet. I was a sponsored muscle tech athlete. But the thing is, this all started a very interesting way. So just like most people, I was extremely frustrated because I was, you know, kind of a skinnier guy. I Well, I went into high school at about 168 pounds, graduated, you know, a little heavier than that. But I was going to the gym six days a week. And I just decided one day, I'm like, you know what, I want to I want to try to get into fitness modeling. So what happened was I applied to an agency and they said, all right, well, you got to be bigger. So I'd been training for eight years at this point, And that was the biggest I could get. So what I do, you know, just like most people, you're frustrated with your results from the gym. I started trying different things, doing some research, bodybuilding.com, watch every video I could find. And then I stumbled across this evidence-based high intensity training approach. And just like most of my clients, people who've tried it, followed it. And when I explained the concept to them, the light bulb went off and I go, wow, that makes sense. So these principles, I applied them to my training. And within just about four or five months, I put on about 10 to 15 pounds of muscle. I went from about 190 pounds to 205. And then I booked with muscle tech, Under Armour, Men's Health, Amazon. Like I was one of their most prolific models. And my transformation was like, boom. And you hadn't so seen any there, results like this before, right? Like with the stuff you were doing. No, before. I've been tra- That's the thing. I was doing the, the, the typical bodybuilding bro split. I was training for an hour a day, six days a week, chest tries, back buys, maybe legs. That's, so, that's what know, I was doing. When, skip I, when I first met you, I was doing that too. And I've since ditched that as well. We'll go into the, the better solution, but. Right. It's like, so, you know, you're training and you're training, you're repeating this process and nothing's happening. So when the guy told me like, you know, my agent said, you got to get bigger. I'm like, this is the best I've done over, you know, I was an experienced trainee, but then I stumbled across the high intensity training approach, which was actually based on uh, exercise physiology. The vast majority of exercise physiology recommends that in a nutshell, the high intensity training approach is you train really, really hard for a more extended set duration by using slow repetitions and you're trained to failure. And then when you combine these principles, those are the principles that the vast majority of research shows stimulates optimal improvements in hypertrophy or muscle growth. And here's the good part about this is when you're training with these principles, you cannot tolerate training very often, which makes your workouts less frequent and shorter. So it fits a time schedule. So I went from training six days a week for one hour overtrained. Like every morning I woke up, I felt like I got hit by a bus. I thought that was normal to cutting my workout frequency in half. So instead of training six days a week, I cut it down to three. I did a uh, pushing workout, rest day, leg workout, rest day, pulling workout, rest day. Within a few months, I gained 15 pounds. And that was by doing less exercises, 
less sets and less frequently. Makes It goes completely against the grain of what most people do. We need to remember, just because a lot of people do a particular thing doesn't make it right. Yeah, that's very true in in my industry as well. Most of the advice actually is is far off, right? I I have like 115 attack videos I just looked at the other day. We have a, a section. And the reason is because most of the industry is peddling shit that doesn't work. And a lot of them do it on purpose because that puts guys on a hamster wheel and guys keep coming back and buying more products. Like RSD is my favorite example. They have over 70 different products now. Whereas I only have two, I like a cold approach product and then like one to take online and texting to the next level. But that's all guys need, right? So you and I are, are we have the approach of like fixing the problem as quickly as possible in the most effective and efficient way as possible. And unfortunately, that's that's not how most of the rest of our industries operate. They're, they're just there to extract as much money as possible. You know, if you fix the guy's problem, if I get a guy really good at dating, he doesn't need my services anymore. But, you know, I still take pride in the fact that I have the best system. Right. And I'm sure with, with your stuff as well, when the guy gets his dream physique, he doesn't need to keep coming back to you anymore. But that serves your brand. He's able to tell his friends, et cetera. And, and you know, there's there's something uh, to take pride in that, that you actually have a system that that got them what they paid for and came to get the result. Yeah. From. yeah, I feel like a lot of people don't. And here's the thing. I feel like, um, you know, your competitors, the thing is they're not going to get good testimonials because their product doesn't work. Yeah. So they can't use the the customer experience or the customer testimonial or the customer success to further market their product because their yep. product sucks. So what they have to do is come out with a bunch of sucky products. I'm the same way. You know, I had a, a recent YouTube commenter said, you know, I'm like a one trick pony because I say the same thing all the time. Well, I'm not here to <laughs> give you a bunch of different ridiculous crap to try and confuse you and get you on the hamster wheel. I'm trying to give you the facts, tell you what the vast majority of the literature says so that way you could use it and move on with your life. You know, yeah. a lot of uh, fitness influencers, they come up with these like stupid fancy exercises, which are basically just circus tricks. And then they give you this ridiculous benefit that they could provide with no evidence, you know. But the thing is, that's appealing to people because most people are frustrated. Most people are confused. So they're going to try a million different things. You know, the fitness influencers know this. So they're going to keep providing different things for them to try and just sell them and sell them and sell them. But the fact is, you know, the the exercise stimulus is very broad. It's very simple. It's very general. And that's what my mission is, is to teach people this. Believe it or not, it goes completely against the grain of what the vast majority of the fitness industry says. And I don't know if they're like your industry and they do it purposefully. I think a lot of them are simply unconsciously incompetent. I think they don't know how much they really don't know. I think it's like uh, the Dunning-Kruger effect. They know a little bit and that makes them an expert because they're jacked up on steroids and they look good. And then they just peddle nothing but nonsense. And then people believe them. I think that's most of the fitness industry. Yeah, I think well, I think in any industry where, where there's money to be made, people are incentivized, unfortunately, to keep the person stuck, right? Like I I shared with you, like how I had a personal trainer where I saw some great gains and then things leveled off for a long time and he wasn't upping my weight. Everyone knows like a a fundamental rule uh, with resistance training is to keep providing increasing levels of resistance. And I was lifting the same weights, you know, from week to week, month to month. And I thought about it and I thought, wait a second here, if he got me to like, you know, exactly where I wanted to be, I wouldn't need his services anymore. But when I'm, when it's like out of reach and I think that I'm progressing or whatever, I think that, that he's getting me closer to that goal, then I'm going to stick around and and keep providing his training. But I just want to say real quick for, for all you guys watching, like Jay's stuff is super, super, super legit. Um, in this eight week course, he's going to be doing two group calls a week that are two hours each. And, uh, the link in the description is to book a call with Jay himself. Okay. He's going to be taking the calls personally and he'll go over all the details. We're going to go over in this video too, as well. Uh, some of the high level overview of the program, but if you book one of those calls, he'll basically go over all the details and answer all your questions and, um, you know, go over the, the pricing, what it costs to work together and this and that. But the goal of this program is to be the leading fitness program to get guys to their goals the fastest, whether that be losing weight or gaining muscle or, or a combination of the two. So uh, did you want to give like um, kind of a high level overview of, of how the weeks are set up? Yeah. So, I mean, the, the purpose of this course is here's the thing. People are insanely confused about exercise. 
And most people, they really have no idea what they're doing. They're just kind of following what the other people are doing. You know, and they'll try a bunch of different things because they're frustrated, confused, nothing's working. So upon completion of, of my course, you will never be confused about what to do in the gym again. I will answer all of your questions. There, for the rest of your life, you are no longer confused. You know exactly what to do. And when you know exactly what to do, you're going to see drastic increase in, in muscular strength. And with that muscular size and a huge improvement in body composition, which means grow muscle and lose fat. You know, there are some very basic principles behind this, but I think the thing is so many people come up with different polarizing things to try to get people's attention that it leaves people confused. It's actually really simple. So in the course, I go into detail on exactly how to apply your training, how often, how much training, the best exercise, how to perform the exercises, how to approach diet for muscle gain, fat loss, increased performance. I cover absolutely everything so that way you know exactly what to do forever. You're not going to be a repeating customer because if I did my job correctly, you're not going to have any more questions. Although the, the science of hypertrophy and muscle growth and all this is constantly evolving, we have a pretty good understanding of what the stimulus needs to look like. We don't really need to know what the satellite cells are doing or you know what the mechano sensors are doing all that much. We just need to know how to apply the stimulus. So I show you how to do a very basic approach to this, which takes not very much time at all, probably about two training sessions a week. And believe me, if you do this the way I show you, you're not going to be able to tolerate more than two training sessions a week. And you're going to have aggressive, rapid improvements compared to what you did before, because I'm going to show you how to apply the training based on the actual physiology of the body, which is something most of the fitness industry is honestly completely unaware of, as crazy as it sounds. That's awesome. So what, how would people start off like in the, in the week one, like what's covered? Can we go through kind of, cause there's gonna be eight yeah. weeks. So people, when people come in, I started looking through the course, it's basically going to be the fundamentals of, of what's going on in the, in the very beginning. Right. Yeah. So the first week we're going to go over, we're going to go over defining exercise because <laughs> believe it or not, not everything is exercise. Although exercise can involve movement. Not that it necessarily needs to involve movement because there is things like static exercise. Bruce Lee used to do a lot of static exercise back in the seventies, but not all movement is exercise. So we're going to define exercise and what the principles exercise needs to have in order to actually be effective. So first week, we're going to go over that. We're going to debunk a couple very common fitness myths. What is exercise? What is not exercise? The requirements, again, the exercise needs to have in order to be effective and productive and sustainable over a long period of time. Then in the first week, I'm going to give you a basic foundation starting workout plan the best exercises, how to perform them to receive optimal stimulation and for them to be safe. You should not ever get hurt during a workout. And then basic diet recommendations. So the first week, you're going to know exactly what to do to get started. Then over the following weeks, week two, we're going to go deeper into nutrition. I'm going to talk about the, exactly how fat loss works, how to diet for optimal fat loss. I'm going to talk about how muscle hypertrophy works how protein causes muscle to grow and how much protein to eat, how much fluids to eat. And in week two, we're going to go over how to more customize your approach to training based on different tools and equipment, based on your schedule, based on your tolerance. Cause you know, not a workout is never a one size fits all. You don't say do five sets of five, these exercises go have fun. No, no, no. Everybody's different. So I'm going to show you how to customize and adjust your approach to it will accommodate an optimal response. And then, you know, week three and four, we're going to go more into the specific biomechanics, things like skill transfer, some more diet fads, uh, exercise fads, why they're fads, why they're myths. I'm going to actually explain exactly why. So you'll understand exactly why things like CrossFit is a myth and a fad. You'll understand why things like uh, the carnivore diet is a myth and a fad. So I'm going to go through and debunk all the fitness nonsense with evidence. And then more towards the end of the course, we're going to get into even more specific details. So you're going to understand why my recommendations are what they are with evidence and with understanding of the actual physiology behind all this. But I make it in a very easy to digestible way. I can explain these concepts in person 
in a way you can understand them. While it's very difficult to really understand this stuff if you were reading it or, you know, going through an exercise course, but basically I'm saving an individual 10, 15 years of trial and error. And I'm giving them everything they need to know in eight weeks. Yeah, this is this is the accumulation of the last decade of trial and error, research, brilliant mentors. I've attended a lot of bodybuilding uh, workshops with Mr. Olympia winning bodybuilding coaches. And I compiled all this information into an eight week course. Yeah, that's what's what's really great about uh, your system and, and my system as well is that we basically devoted our lives to our crafts, evolving and optimizing the systems until they reached a really solid optimization point. And then we've flowed them out to uh, guys in a very effective, efficient, straightforward, practical way. And they can dispense with all the other stuff. Like they won't need to watch any more fitness content, you know, on YouTube and, and bounce from one program to the next one diet to the next, et cetera. And some guys might be wondering, you know, what makes Jay different than everyone else claiming they have a solution. Um, the thing is you, you've been in like every published fitness magazine, you know, like, like a whole ton of them. Uh, you, how many uh, sessions have you supervised without any injuries? Over 20,000. So, you know, I own two personal training studios. I personally supervise. So the thing is, I've got like a data pool of <laughs> 20,000 workouts. Yeah. So I tested it and it's worked. And the great thing about my studios is most of my clients have tried everything. They stuck with me forever after that. You know, I got a lot of clients from CrossFit, a lot of people from Zumba and yoga and all that other nonsense that doesn't this work. And once you take them through one workout, they're like, boom, that's it. This, I've this had, it sounds <laughs> no continue. It sounds so similar to my industry. It's like guys come from all these other coaches, and then I always say I'm like the last stop on their journey. Once they come to my stuff, they get immediate results from it, and then they're like, "Why was I doing all this other stuff before that didn't work?" That's exactly it. And the thing is, like, once you feel how to properly stimulate your muscle and how to properly exercise your body. Everything else you try seems ridiculous. Once you learn the stuff and then you start scrolling through YouTube and see other stuff, you're like, that doesn't make any sense. Because once you know biomechanics, peak force production, uh, the length tension relationship, all these things that I'm going to explain to you in a very easy to understand way, something like CrossFit or uh, you know resistance bands is going to seem absolutely stupid to you. So it's going to be easy to wade through all the nonsense. And just like you said, my clients would come to me and they'd, they'd have to stay. They'd have to continue this. So once you try this approach to training, this evidence-based approach to training, you're not going to be able to do anything else because it's, you're going to feel after your first workout, how much more effective it is. And I've had clients, I've had, uh, uh, clients, which I just coach remotely, say that they can't even watch YouTube anymore because it seems so stupid. And a lot of people who watch me on YouTube, they see me get so frustrated with <laughs> some of the stuff. And I like I, I just like piss and moan about it almost. And it's because once you understand this stuff, it is so clear that everything else seems so stupid. It's almost annoying. No, and I know. I know exactly what you mean. It's because once you have a system that's optimized and you know, like everything that I give in my system, like for all for all my fans here that are watching this, right? All the advice that I give in my channel is not just my opinion. It's not just, oh, I think it's it should be like this, or here's my best guess, or anything like that. This is all stuff that went through extensive testing, extensive scientific method with iterations and constantly optimizing and making it better based on data. And at any step of the way, if I could find anyone doing any area of it better in the dating system. I would adapt my system accordingly after I tested it, of course, but you know, if the data supported it, I would adapt my system accordingly. So whenever someone comes along and says, Hey, so-and-so, uh, you know, says to do it this opposite way of what you're saying, I say, well, first of all, if that worked better, I, that would be part of my system. But second of all, here's all the reasons why that way sucks and mine's better. Right. And it's not just, it, so this isn't just, uh, you know, two guys with big egos saying, Hey, we have the best system because we made it. And, and cause we teach it. No, it's quite the contrary. Um, you know, I just put together a 200 uh, plus testimonials page and I, I did a video on that recently. And, you know, like you said, like if you have a real system, guys are going to very consistently get very good results, what they're looking for. And whether you're looking for fat loss, muscle gain, or a combination of both, Jay is going to be the, the best bet to fast track you to those results and get you the results that you've always been looking for because guys have an ideal physique in mind 
and they don't know the right path to get there. And they kind of bounce around like a pinball, just hoping that one day they'll arrive there and, and they never do, sadly. And it's the same in the dating space. Guys have an idea of like an ideal woman that they want. And they try all these like fancy, gamey, you know, gimmicky approaches and the, these theoretical, abstract, nonsense approaches. And they they come up short, right? But I tell guys like when they're considering taking training with me, I say, I'm, I'm the final solution. This is meant to be a permanent and final solution. Once guys find my stuff, they don't go anywhere else. And it's not just because they're, you know, my, they're just so uh, addicted to my content or anything. It's because it works, right? And it works in, a, in an extreme way. And it stands out from all the other stuff. And, and yours is the same. That's why I was drawn to uh, to your system as well in the fitness space. And, we, and we, there's so many parallels in terms of what you say of people going and wasting time, these other approaches. And I, I appreciate how frustrating that is because it's the same in my industry. It's funny that you mentioned that, you know, you're going to see other approaches, other techniques, other methods. You're going to analyze them based on your understanding of how this works. And yep. if it's an acceptable adaptation to your approach, you're going to use it. I do the same exact thing. Just recently, there are here in Tampa, Florida, there are some really nice bodybuilding gyms with some really prolific coaches, yep. masters in biomechanics, masters in exercise physiology. So I attend these workshops whenever I can, because I still want to learn because there's a lot of nuances in training. So I go to the workshops, absorb the information, see what's bullshit, see what's useful. And if it's useful, I use it. So I recently came out with an arm program based on what I learned from top level professional bodybuilding coaches, took their advice, looked into it more, looked more into the physiology, applied it for a couple of weeks, seemed to work. Okay. I'll use that now too. So it's like, you know, the one thing about, about me too, and possibly you, you're not so closed minded that you're going to be stuck in your no, way. This is, I mean, yeah. The system is always open to improvement. Of course you want it to improve. Like, I'm not going to say, okay, if my recommendations, if there were some really good, the research on my approach has been around for the last 60, 70 years. So it's kind of pointing in the same direction. But if tomorrow there were to be a study that was well-performed, very well-performed, that showed what I'm saying is completely wrong, I would adjust my approach. Yeah, I don't, so, I have no emotional attachment yeah. to my approach. And, that, and that's how it should be. That's when you know that someone's right. not full of shit, right? Because- it was the same, like I studied philosophy in college as one of my majors, and, and they always tell us that your positions are only as good as the arguments behind them. And so all through college or, or all through my life, if anyone could ever show me a better way to do something, I would adapt it. And, and not only that, but I would actually look for critics and I would look for people to poke holes in what I was doing. And I would look for people to show me something better because all that strengthens the system. So when I would write like a philosophical paper, I would distribute it to all the smartest people I know and all the all the smartest professors with the sincere hope that people would find something that I missed or that they would find a weak spot or a hole because then on the next iteration, it's far stronger. When you do that relentlessly and you're obsessive with the craft for like 10 years plus, you end up with you know our systems that we have. We know that since all that went into it, we know that they work extremely, extremely, extremely effectively, right? Whereas most people are are just saying oh you know try this or try that and, and i really think they're doing it on purpose to be honest because it's conducive to the business model to keep selling to someone if someone stays overweight for five years ten years they're going to keep coming back to to the person that they're trusting to keep fixing things right in quotes and and i see these epidemics where where there's lots of guys in the pickup community that have gone 10 years, 15 years, and, and they're not getting laid at all, or they're getting laid once or twice by luck. They're being told that the results are just on the horizon. And, it, and I really think it's like a carrot dangling on a string, right? It, you're always trying to get it, but you're, it's always out of reach, right? And, and so we're basically here to say, here, let's cut that string. Here's the carrot. Enjoy you know, the results of, of a real system. Let's go into the mechanics of... Um, you know, how this process would work. So basically uh, for all you guys watching, right? If you want to plug into Jay's optimized system, we have a link in the description that will bring you to a calendar page where again, you'll book a time with Jay himself. Okay. You'll be speaking to Jay personally. There's not some other person on the phone and there's no obligation for anything. You know, this isn't some big money play or anything like that, where we're, we're just going to hard sell you. He's going to answer any questions you have go over any details that you're unclear on. And then if you guys decide it's a good fit, uh, you can enroll in the eight week course, then you'll get access to the content. Okay. The full content system, and you can attend the calls 
so that you can get all your questions and, and points of confusion cleared up. But this model works extremely effectively. I've been running my, my eight-week program for a couple of years now, and it's very rare we don't get a guy very good very fast. It doesn't matter if he started as a virgin, if he's a, a divorcee, if he's on a long dry spell, or, you know, or his quality is low, or he can't really get dates or matches or phone numbers. Within a matter of a week or two, he's already packing his calendar out. Now, fitness is going to take a little more time just because you know you can't you can't get your dream physique in in a, in a matter of a few weeks but he's going to be laying down all the things that are going to fast track you and get you there as quickly as possible right and there'll be no more confusion there'll be no more inefficiencies and, and wasted time what's really cool about your program as well is this fits into very busy schedules so it's not like you have to be in the gym seven days a week right like you recommend three days sometimes four max right because like, as you told me personally, when I adapted to this workout, your body needs rest the next day. If you go in and train again the next day, you're overtraining. Your systemic uh, stress isn't, hasn't been dealt with yet. And, and all the gains are made when you're uh, resting and repairing anyways. That's a, a big concern is a lot of guys uh, worry that they're not gonna be able to fit the training into their busy schedule because they're working a full-time job and they have other stuff going on. Um, do you want to speak to that in terms of time commitment? Yeah. So the thing is, people are under the impression, the erroneous impression that your body is changing as you're exercising. And I think this happened from the nomenclature in fitness ads, sculpt and tone, torch fat. So this gave people the impression that as they're training, their body's changing. No, 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 no. This is wrong. Exercise is just a stress and a stimulus. It's a negative event on your body. The deep and, and exercise must aggressively fatigue muscle in order to turn on the stimulus, which tells your body, build new muscle tissue, reduce fat tissue, build strength, improve cardio fitness, improve metabolism. The stimulus is that deep, stressful muscle fatigue. When you're doing this, you cannot do it for very long and you cannot do it very often. The only reason people are able to work out every day is because they're not working out. There's a difference between working out and simply using your body. What people are doing in the gym is they're going to the gym and they're just moving around. They're not generating any stress or very little, which is not going to result in a huge improvement and also why they're able to do it every day. So if you're doing a proper, well-designed, workout. You can only tolerate about two, maybe three workouts a week. And the research is very clear on this. If you're deeply, if you're deeply aggressively fatiguing muscle, the difference between three workouts a week and two workouts per week is insignificant, meaning it's a complete waste of your time to even do a third workout a week. But I think a lot of the times people's intensity of effort or level of muscle fatigue during their workouts is so poor that they need a ton of them. Why would you go to the gym and do more crappy workouts when you could do two decent ones? Keep in mind, Muscle Tech sponsored athlete, Under Armour model, model. I've been in every fitness magazine in the country. I work out twice a week, once every third or fourth day. And people can't believe they're like, how is that possible? Well, because you have to do it with these specific principles that I'm going to teach during the course. And you'll notice from the first workout you do and a ton of a ton of my clients, my former clients, current clients, the first workout they do, they can't help but message me and be like, dude, I can't believe how that felt. You will feel it. The first workout, it's like mind blowing. And you realize you've been doing it wrong the whole time just from the yep. first workout. So although it takes a few weeks to, you know, reduce body fat, muscle growth is relatively slow. The great thing about a proper evidence-based approach to training, which I'm going to teach people, is that it's sustainable over time. Why? Because it's only going to take you about an hour total a week and you're not going to get hurt doing it. So you're going to be able to do it forever and nothing is going to get in the way of it. And an a lot of people- week, right? Two 30 minute off. sessions. Yeah, just if you're doing it properly, the way I show you, 30 minutes is all you're going to need. If you're doing it properly, it's all you're going to be able to tolerate. The thing is, people fall off of their training program is because most people can't go six, seven days a week for an hour and a half. It's just it's just not sustainable, but it's also ineffective. So we truly effective evidence-based approach only requires two, maybe three days a week for optimal results. Sounds crazy, but once you learn the principles and apply them, you'll get it immediately. Yep. And just to touch on one of those important principles, 
Uh, we talked about in the other video we did on my channel, which we'll put in the end screen, by the way, guys. Well, Jay and I did a, a video where he busted a whole bunch of fitness industry myths. And you guys can look, you know, that goes into some more uh, in-depth details about how some of these things work. But one of the kind of core principles is when you're doing slower repetitions, right? Like five seconds up, five seconds down, it's going to put the muscle under tension a lot longer. Do you, do you want to talk about like the typical like three sets of, you know, eight or, or whatever, or four sets, five sets, what people are normally doing when they're doing like one, one uh, second up, one second down versus your approach? Yeah. So, okay. So the point, the purpose of exercise is to generate fatigue and stress in the muscle. How do we do that? We use weights and machines to load the muscle and create tension. When the muscle is under significant tension, key, significant, the muscle will aggressively and rapidly fatigue. So what a lot of people are doing is in the gym, they're going one, two, they're going in with a set standard of reps and sets, not understanding why. So most people will say, okay, I need to do three sets and 10 reps. Why? I don't know. Somebody told me and I saw that somewhere. If the goal is to generate stress and fatigue, while the muscle is being loaded and creating tension, it's generating fatigue. So it would make sense to do it more slowly. Several studies that show what's referred to as continuous muscular loading or loading that doesn't result in momentum generated a better stress and a better stimulus for muscle hypertrophy. Very clear on this. So what I recommend is rather than doing three sets quickly. So think about it. We're looking at when we refer to exercise volume, a lot of people refer to it as sets and reps. This is wrong. This is the wrong definition because a set and a rep can be performed differently. For instance, if one individual lifted weights and it took them one second to lift and lower the weight and they did 10 repetitions, that's one times 10, 10 seconds of time under tension. Now take another individual. He takes two seconds to lift and two seconds to lower. Still did 10 repetitions, still did one set. That's 20 seconds. That's 40 seconds of time under load. So these two individuals, the second individual did more exercise, but the same sets and reps. That's why sets and reps are meaningless. So what I recommend, I recommend you just do one set and people would think that's crazy. Well, yeah, doing it the way most people do like this, one set isn't going to do anything. But if you do a longer duration set, and I recommend about 60 to 90 seconds, five seconds up, five seconds down, about eight to 12 repetitions will turn out to be about 60 to 120 seconds of time under load, which is literally two to four times the volume that most people do in the gym. So while it seems low volume, oh, only one set, it's literally two to four times the amount of exercise in about one fifth of the time commitment. It's condensed and it's efficient because there's no good reason to move weight quickly and to rest in between sets. If the purpose of a workout is deep, aggressive muscle fatigue, then why would you rest? It doesn't make any sense. So the research has proven this with, with tons of studies that one extended duration set performed a muscle failure to the point where you can no longer uh, lift the weight in the prescribed form provides the best stimulus for hypertrophy. And when you do it like that, they've shown clearly that additional sets after that provide no additional benefit. So we're then, looking at a handful of exercises with one set a piece. It's going to take very little time and you're going to feel like you worked out for two hours in yep. your 30 minute workout done this way. And that's what I, I remember when you, when you told me about this, I remembered hearing about uh, Dorian Yates. That's what he was always doing. Uh, basically one set per exercise as well. Right. And, but people, people don't understand because they're thinking in this old paradigm of, of just sets and reps and volume, you know, they're trying to think of it like that versus time under tension. And then they, you, you also stress the importance of going to failure because you want to go past the point that your muscle is currently able to lift. Right. So when you go to absolute failure, then it signals to your body that it needs to rebuild for the next time. Right. And this goes back to evolutionary uh, roots where your body needs to adapt in order to survive to handle that stimulus in the future. Yeah, so the evidence is hands down very clear. Training to muscle failure is is it's not a requirement for muscle hypertrophy, especially for people in the beginning, but it is by far the most effective way to stimulate muscle hypertrophy. And Dr. Andy Galpin, 
was just on a podcast last week explaining this too. He does a huge amount of research, the physiology of muscle hypertrophy and muscle growth. And he says, if you want to grow muscle, you have to train to failure, his words. And I've been saying this for a decade. So what failure is in, in all the, re, the, pretty much all the research shows, train to failure stimulates the most muscle growth. Why? Because train to failure or train to the point where you cannot lift the weight, you are creating the most tension in your muscle. Therefore, the most muscle fiber recruitment, therefore, the most muscle fiber stimulated. So the goal is, say we got 100 muscle fibers. We want to stimulate as many as possible by loading them and fatiguing them to turn on um, metabolic pathways, anabolic pathways to make them grow. So the more muscle fibers you could turn on, the more you can work, the more you can stimulate to grow. And training to muscle failure is a sure shot way of getting all those muscle fibers. But here's the thing, when you train to failure, you can't do it a bunch of times in a row. It would result in overtraining. Not only would you get no additional benefit, because once you've recruited and fatigued all the fibers, you can't do it again. You've already done it, you turned them on. The best analogy I like, Mike Menser, who was a professional bodybuilder, he was the only bodybuilder to ever win a, a, a Mr. Universe with a perfect score trained with one set to failure. And this was his analogy. He said, doing additional sets to failure is like pushing an elevator button for your floor and then pushing it 20 more times, expecting the elevator to move faster. That's what additional sets are like. If you've turned on the the genes to stimulate muscle growth, you can't turn them on again. So a lot of people in the gym aren't even reaching muscle failure, which is why they're seeing crappy results. And if you're doing it, you don't need to do multiple sets, multiple exercises for a muscle group, which makes your workouts very short and very time efficient. And this is the physiology of muscle growth. Yeah. So that's just one little taste of all the stuff that you guys would learn in Jay's course. It's meant to be fully comprehensive in this eight week course. You'll understand everything you need for a lifetime uh, regarding fitness training and dieting and, and accomplishing your goals as quickly as possible. If you have questions if you want to know more details, okay, if you're interested, we urge you to book one of those calls. Uh, it's a free 30 minute call, just like for my dating programs. And Jay himself personally will be fielding those calls and, and assisting you with whatever questions and, and points that, that you have. And um, yeah, we're, we're both really excited about this. I have a, an overarching brand now called Optimized Lifestyle, where we're really trying to bring in top experts and other related niches, right. Um, regarding total man optimization, basically. Right. So we're looking for top fitness experts like Jay, we're looking for, uh, top business training experts and, and mindset experts, confidence and charisma experts, anything that's going to really shape a man to be like the best version of himself and have real experts behind it. Right. Because in a sea of people just, you know, trying to scam and trying to get your money and trying to give you the next, you know, fad little crazy trick to do. Okay. Appealing to human pain and, and human emotion, just because people are in a bad place. And a lot of those people that come in here, exploit that we're cutting through all the BS and offering you the most efficient, effective and optimized solutions to handle that area permanently. You can leave questions in the comments as well. And, and Jay will, will be taking a look there, but um, you know, for a more in-depth question, session and, and to really uh, see if this program is a good fit for you, book one of those calls. And did you have any kind of closing thoughts? Yeah, here's the thing. Book a call with me. If you have questions about your training approach, your diet approach, I'll answer your questions on the call too. And I will show you that I have the information that you need in order to succeed in fitness. Just like you said, if you want to be a well-rounded man, you wouldn't believe the advantage being in shape has in life, in health. Yep. In charisma, in confidence, in business, um, in the dating market, it's huge. It would behoove you to optimize not only your dating, but optimize your fitness and health. And then other aspects of your life are going to be optimized along with that. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And I'm going to show you how to do that without wasting so much damn time like the rest of the fitness industry is having you do. So book a call with me. We'll talk about fitness. I'll give you some tips. I'll get you some tricks and I'll show you why I can help you get your optimal physique extremely time efficiently and safely. That's awesome. Yeah. Thanks again so much, man. Uh, we're looking Pleasure. forward. Uh, Jay's looking forward to speaking to some of you guys and uh, you know, we'll, we'll put out more videos going over more details of this and we'll, we'll probably do a YouTube live soon as well, where we can 
answer people's questions live. But thanks again to Jay Vincent. And uh, again, guys, check out that link in the description and the pinned comment. And thanks again, everybody, for joining us. And Jay, don't stand in line. I ain't never had to wait. I'm the realest in this game. I ain't never had to fake. Just take a look at the scores. I put numbers up on the boards. I'm in a section with models. And you're at the bar trying to get out of cluster of fours. Fixed drama factor. I'm a boss tycoon. My dick smell like two chicks before noon.